Yeah, thank you very much. Taste of the Nation is, is uh, just, a, just a wonderful event that I've had the honor and pleasure of being part of for, for many years, and I don't cook well. And yet they keep inviting me. This man, on the other hand, you know him well. Uh, he's becoming uh, fast. I would say already you've become quite the culinary institution here in Hartford, and you're kind of spreading your wings all across the country. We'll get to that a in a minute. Bit, yeah, say yeah. hi to Tyler Anderson, Mill Rice fame, corn and pina. What am I missing there? You also the cook got, and the bear. The cook yeah, and the bear. Oh, that. Are you, are you the cook? Or the, you're the cook. I'm the and, cook. Jamie's and the Jamie's bear. The bear yeah. Right. Jamie's the bear. And and you've just every day it seems like you wake up and there's another headline saying you're going to do something else. Right. This and in between the appearing on uh, Bravo's Top Chef last year, where you did fairly well uh, competing with some, some of the best chefs all across the country. Yeah, it was a good opportunity yeah. to do something like that. Can I ask you, before we get into what sure. you're going to be doing for Taste of the Nation, because I think this is the first time you've been on since you were on the show. Right. Are you a better chef having done that, and, and what ha what'd you take away from it? I would say I'm definitely not a better chef for having done it. I, oh, okay, it, great. It, it, that was an awkward you know question, what? It, wasn't it? <laughs> in, in ways you are, it's, it's the connections you make and it's right. talking to those people about food and just having more friends who are great chefs uh -huh. who are on the show, and who you can sort of like, you know, go through these different things with. And it's cool. those connections that are gonna come in handy when we talk to you about Taste of the Nation in a minute. Yes. What are we doing here today? So this is a dish we're gonna do for Taste of the Nation. We're gonna do a smaller version of it, but it's mm -hmm. a dish we do at Millwright's um, and we're gonna do a small version for Taste of the Nation. So uh, it's the last of the corn here. And it was a good season and, for corn. Yeah, it was delicious this yeah, year. It was yeah. really nice. Like one of my favorite things about cooking in Connecticut is cooking with the corn in the summer. Sure. Um, and so we put a bunch aside. We put them down in a dark basement. We store them, okay. um, but we're almost out of them. So here we have a little celery and onion. We're just simply putting a little bit of corn in there. Uh -huh. We're gonna pump up, the, uh, pump up the volume on that, shake it around a little bit. Hit it with a little bit of salt. Is that an actual chef term? Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Good to yeah. Know. yeah, yeah, it is. Thank it's you, Chris. Big, it's later. big in the Appreciate kitchen. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's big in the kitchen. And then we have a little stock that we actually made from the corn cobs. Okay. Um, so as we shuck them, we take the kernels off. We take the cobs. We just soak them in, in hot water. Not wasting water. any part. Of Not it, wasting you? any part. No. You mentioned something as you pour that in. That you, you keep your corn uh, deep in the basement. Does yeah. that make it last longer going into the fall? Yeah, it does. It keeps the sugars from converting. So it won't last too long. It won't last like a potato or. A Right. Meat or something like that, but, uh, but it'll help preserve it. I can get a couple more. You can get a couple more, week? maybe a week out. All right, all right. It's, it's I, really I, was, yeah. I was anxious and being it's aggressive, and thinking going all the way to like November with yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 not, not quite, happen. not quite. Okay, so that's simmering. So it. that will bring up to a boil. Okay, um, you know, and then we're gonna add a ton of butter, and then we're gonna pour it uh, into here, like and then it's gonna be delicious. All right, as we're doing that, talk to us about Taste of the Nation and your your commitment to it because you have been part of it for many years. There's the information on the screen, you talk. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I've been part of it for, I think I've been the chair for five years now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we have a lot of great chefs coming from all over the country. We have right. a, like uh, 10 of the cast of Top Chef and are coming. Was, and that's the nugget right uh, there. Which is cool. It's you, a good opportunity to meet all these people you've seen on TV. So you buy a ticket at the Goodwin Hotel Sunday night, 125 bucks. Go to, uh, is it, uh, sh the website is? Is uh, Taste of the Nation. Taste of the Nation. Yeah. Dot org. Yeah. Dot org. Okay, got it. Uh, and we'll get that to you on our website at fox61.com. 125 gets you in the door, but you get to walk around and meet all a, a good chunk of the top chefs that you right. worked with yep, and against, a lot of them. Yeah. and a lot of the uh, culinary experts from all around Connecticut. Yeah, that's exciting. I mean, that's one of the really exciting pieces too, is that it's just not like the chefs from Connecticut are coming from all over the state. They're some of the best in mm -hmm. the state and it'll be very exciting to have them have here. To bring them all together. I think this is the first time that's happening. Yeah, yeah. Since, I mean, a group a like this is, is has, it hasn't been compiled. Put this all together. Right. And while you're doing that, uh, we'll also tell you, t tell you that this, uh, yeah. There we hot, go. Hot bowl. Hot, hot soup. Bowl. Yep. There you go. So we just dump it in there. Okay. And now we want to be very careful with how we turn this yes. on because this N can explode. N nice soup. <laughs> There's your warning. <laughs> just a little bit of butter. A <laughs> little bit of butter. Plate that up. You can also get ticket information on our Facebook page, the Taste the Nation Hartford uh, Facebook mm -hmm. or Instagram. And, te and tell us about uh, who this benefits. And so this benefits, this goes to cure childhood hunger. So right. uh, one in six kids in the state of Connecticut actually goes to bed hungry every night. And you know, that's just not acceptable. So not only does this help on a national level, but a lot of the money actually comes back specifically to the Hart greater Hartford area. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really why we support it. We have 30 seconds left to plate this up. And before you pour it in, just notice Feels I'm like top chef get right out of the way. I know, right? 30 seconds, hands up. 30 uh, seconds. There, there's a lobster cake in that. Lobster and, and, cake, some pickled corn, a little espalette pepper, and then what we call lobster syrup. 
And then we put just a little of that soup in. Tyler Anderson, thank you for coming. Thank Taste you for of the nation. Here. There's the seven day. Looks rainy for tomorrow morning, but great for Sunday night. Buy your tickets. We got to go. We'll be back with more.